Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. So here it is, an official video of the, uh, the best car, in my opinion, uh, at any price, uh, not the fact that I've owned. Uh, this is the best car I have owned, driven, heard. It's just a complete head turner. I mean, just look at the interior. Pretty sure you guys, if you've seen my previous video, uh, I've done a little bit of uh, a walk around and a little bit of details, um, but never gone <clears throat> with the full, uh, a full actual video. So, 06 Grand Sport LE, the uh, limited edition uh, with the adaptive suspension, um, it's got the Formula Dynamics drive-by-wire upgrade, the rainy exhaust, um, the miles are uh, about 60,000, about to be 60,000, and uh, yeah, 19 inch wheels, uh, red calipers, so I mean, I think this is without a doubt a timeless machine let's open the again to mention the carbon fiber interior upgrade the door sills door sills I mean and the interior trim right there and also the uh, carbon paddles um, I think um, a person couldn't could search the whole country or the entire world uh, for that matter and they will not find this spec this interior this many upgrades with the carbon package and I think that makes it a literally it makes it a a, a one of one car that was the so indication to see if uh, if is the the le model um the badging on the on the fenders that indicates it's the le a, a regular grand sport would we'll just say a v8 grand sport the front end does kind of resembles uh, for instance, a Spiker CA, and it does resemble um, its own bigger brother, the MC12. It's got a, it's got a very, very classy design. So, yeah, let me just start it up and see. does it especially the cracks on the downshift and everything is just wow never really driven it that much because I mean I don't want to put miles on it um, I do drive it occasionally um, probably most likely sometimes a few miles a week and yeah not just the outside it's uh it's also the fact that the engine bay is also one of the most unique and good looking uh, for those that um, look up to these cars and know about them that they know the engine bay uh, with those red heads as they call it is the yeah it's beautiful man it's definitely uh, a very very beautiful looking car uh, if i'm gushing over then um I guess that's uh, that's okay. The headliner is also leather. Uh, that was the part of that's part of the LE. 
uh, limited edition. Also, some of the panels here on the non-LEs, uh, they are uh, sort of that suede looking thing, or not cloth looking, I would say, not suede actually. And this panel right here would be a cloth insert, and then on the seats, it'll be cloth uh, sort of insert. So that's with the, uh, the non-LEs. The LEs, they come with the, the full leather interior. Okay. The color just, I think the color just takes it up. Not only is it so unique, you know, it's, I mean, people can see this generation of M3 or a C, C6, Corvette, E46. Uh, I'm comparing that because of the, uh, because of the year. And even a, a 911 from 06. So the 06 only 911, the E46, M3, the Corvette C, uh, C6. Uh, I think that was the first year. First year was the C6 was the 05. Um, and I think they sort of compare uh, to this car in some ways because of the V8 engine. Uh, but obviously Porsche has a, v, a flat six. But uh, they sort of compared to this car is because the the era that they come from. And I think this era definitely has has some unique looking cars and good looking cars. Uh, personally, I, I really love anything that was made in, in the 06 uh, around there about. You know, S2000 is a great example. I know it's a, it's a four cylinder, but uh, from that era, uh, 360, uh, 599, all those things. Uh, even the 430 is not bad, you know. It's pretty much uh, uh, same engine block as this car. And the F1 transmission is identical to the uh, to the uh, 430 and all that stuff. So it is uh, it is a single clutch automated manual. Uh, yeah, just uh, it's it's it could be it could be better. It could be a, a little it feels a little clunky at sometimes at low speed, especially in first gear. But that is the drawback of these cars. But again, if it had an automatic, it would it would be a different car. It what makes this car unique is because it's got a it's got a single clutch automated manual. Um, I wish they made these Grand Sport for uh, let's say a two more years and offered uh, the ZF Auto just to see how different it could feel and would be with the 4.7 V8 they offered in the Quattroporte. Uh, so this has the same motor as the Quattroporte, the 006 uh, and 7. And they also had uh, the single clutch. And But they, uh, for 08 and some 07 models, they, they had a ZF 6-speed. Um, I feel this was only made for two years uh, for 05 and 06 Grand Sport. And I feel if they, if they made it for uh, two more years, it could have had, it could have probably benefited from uh, the 4.7 with the automatic and it will literally be a rocket ship if it had that motor not that this car is slow but there is a hesitation there is a delay when up shifting you could lift off from throttle a little bit to make uh, the shifting a little bit more smooth but uh i i i personally don't really mind that it's it's clunky you know it does sort of hesitate um but uh, yeah, it's uh, again it doesn't bother me that much. Jajaro design. Fire extinguisher makes it look uh, a little bit more aggressive and hardcore, <laughs> like a track car. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I would want to track this car. Uh, the only thing I would do, if, if I were to, if I were to spend money on it, I would get these back uh, in carbon. So. But it'll be identical to this that would just elevate the car to a whole new level uh, let me show you the back seat uh, the back seats are so unique it looks like a little i don't want to say it, but it looks like a toilet <laughs> um it's it's very different from all the other cars uh, i mean i'm 5'9 150 pounds and i could i could sit comfortably um obviously a bigger guy uh for but for kids for for girls ladies 
uh, it's not it's not tiny it's usable obviously you're not going to be going to vegas or whatever in it but generally speaking um it's better to have some sort of seats than not have anything um so yeah they're they're usable uh in some ways those haunches are so different from uh, from the uh, spider version of this uh, I also had a spider and uh, this at the same time and I kid you not uh, that one didn't have the Lorraine exhaust and did not have the formula dynamic drive-by wire upgrade that is a must a must have uh, if if the car if the person wants the car to be more responsive it really changes it to a whole new level this car just gets into another gear if you want to say uh, so that is definitely a must anyone owning this car i highly recommend in getting uh the drive-by-wire upgrade it is also better for the clutch um so the clutch would wear out um a little less um so yeah it's definitely a must exhaust could be any but personally this has lorraine exhaust and i like it so let's go for a, a little a little spin um I always keep it in sport uh, I mean I do take it off of sport um, if I want the you see there exhaust um, gets a little quieter and it, the suspension gets a little softer and the shifts uh, they become a little less aggressive so in sport mode you know, it's just uh, to impress people and to uh, it's definitely a must to have it in sport so let me grab make sure to like and subscribe any questions uh, anything about especially a grand sport if you have let me know find me on instagram same thing fast experience cars and i look forward uh, to hearing from you guys uh, any questions oh, more than welcome uh, thank you guys all right bye bye